The Dragon Fractal is a commonly known fractal popularized by Jurassic Park. If you don't know how it works, here's my 10 second explanation. You take one line, you duplicate it, rotate it 90 degrees, then you take the tip of the new line you created, and you duplicate the whole shape, and then rotate it again by 90 degrees, and you keep doing this until you end up with this massive curve. So that's cool and all, but what if we made it cooler? So this was my first idea. What if instead of rotating it 90 degrees every time, we rotated it by some other amount? Well, I actually tried every single other amount, and this is the animation of that. As you can see, it's just an overlapping ball at first that looks ugly. But once we reach 60 degrees, it becomes a hexagon. And it's uniform, but it's really boring. Once we reach 90 degrees, we get the beautiful dragon curve that we've all seen. And past that, we get this shape that resembles lightning. And then eventually it just turns into a straight line once everything reaches 180 degrees. Once again, that's cool and all, but I wanted to make a dragon curve that no one had ever seen before. What if, instead of sticking to one set angle that we rotate every single time, we changed it every iteration, according to some rule? So maybe one iteration we're rotating by 30 degrees, but then the next we're rotating by 60 or 90 or something. After seeing how sad the 60 degree fractal was, I wanted to avenge the triangles and create something actually cool with the triangular structure. After some experimenting, this is what led me to one of my favorite fractals, which is alternating between 60 degrees and 180 degrees every single iteration. This is the animation I made to show the unraveling of this fractal. You may have already noticed, when it's highlighted yellow, it means it's only going to be rotating 60 degrees, but when it's highlighted blue, it's going to be rotating 180 degrees. Considering you've seen the dragon curve and the 60 degree curve, what do you think will happen here? What infinitely detailed shape will this morph into when we turn it 60 degrees for the last time? Do you think it'll be symmetrical or possibly recursive like the dragon fractal, where each segment is the same as all the others? Well, here's your little sneak peek. Yes, this fractal is recursive, but not in the way you think. Stay till the end of the video to see what I mean. On a side note, isn't it incredible how after every 60 degree rotation, it perfectly fits into itself in a way that it creates these mass blobs of triangles with zero overlapping bits. Trying to figure out how and why this happens is pretty confusing and mind-boggling, and for the more determined, I encourage you to try and watch back the video once it's done and figure out why it happens. We're just passing the 10th iteration of the fractal now, and I have a challenge for you. Before it gets too large, look closely at the holes that are formed in the fractal. Notice that none of these holes are inescapable, meaning that if I were to drop you anywhere in the fractal, other than inside of a single triangle, you'd be able to escape. Example in the top right. At the end of the video, I'm going to pose a question to you concerning this, and your goal is to answer it correctly. But, unless you take a good look at the fractal now, it'll be impossible to figure it out at the end. I'll give you 5 seconds to inspect the holes now. You can pause if you need more time. Okay, as we continue, we're actually going to switch to another render because the complex objects I was using at the beginning were too much for my computer to handle. This will allow us to go all the way up to the 17th iteration where you won't even be able to see the triangles anymore. Even though you can pretty much see what the fractal is going to end up being, you might still be wondering about how we're going to end it. What I mean is, are we going to end it on a 180 degree turn or a 60 degree one? Well, I don't think there's necessarily one right answer, but I'm going to make the executive decision to end it on a 60 degree turn. Why, you might ask? Because I think it looks cooler. The symmetrical composition of the 180 degree finish just doesn't look as nice. Before, when I asked if it was going to be symmetrical or not, there wasn't really a right answer. It's like asking what the limit of sine is at infinity. It just doesn't exist. Well, here we are at the 17th iteration. Remember when I said that this fractal had recursion? The fractal does have elements of recursion present, but what I find more interesting is that the empty space is also recursive. Look, each hole has the same structure as the last, just all different sizes. As for the question regarding escaping from the holes, here it is. What is the path of escape from this area right here? I'll show the answer in 5 seconds. Okay, the answer is this path. Good job if you did it correct. Although it's small, there is a gap here that you could go through. You can see that if we look back at one of our previous iterations, there's a one by one hole right there that you can go through. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can make more and better content. Bye bye.